was great and, and it was quite a quite a, an event because it was you know, 52 years since you since her, her father died so I found a, a picture of her father um, uh, painting and I photographed her reflected in the mirror and the picture in the in the foreground and in the in the mirror um, and I thought it was a great picture and I thought she'd be so pleased with that because it's the, it was like a changeover and my father, you know, it just worked it's really well. And, I, and they said, can you do it without the painting as well? So I did it without the painting. And that's the one she chose. She didn't choose the one with the painting. Um, and I was really disappointed, really disappointed. And then one of, I went, I was at a cocktail party at the palace a few months later. And her PR lady, I said, I was really disappointed to choose the one with their father. Can, can you all just be sick? She said, um, oh, she's had it framed. It's in her bedroom. She loves that one. But didn't want to share it with the public, I guess. So that cheered me up a bit. She's the most photographed woman in the world, isn't mm -hmm. she? I mean, the world. There's nobody been, had more photographs taken mm -hmm. than her. So she goes along with everything, you know, and she's very helpful, you know, there's no, you know, don't get her standing on a chair or on a head mm -hmm. or anything like that. She just is a, you know, you can't ask her to do too much. You know, she's getting them now. But she's always helpful. And the palace are always helpful as well when you, and if I've got an idea and I want to try something out, they've never said no to me for anything. And Harvey of Vogue, mm. assistant editor of Vogue, phoned one day and said, can you do a picture of my friend and my two kids? And I said, yeah, sure. Mm. And I said, who is it? She's oh, telling you at the time. And so like two days, um, I better phone and see who, you know. So she said it was dying on the kids. So anyway, I was waiting for them to turn up and I was sitting on my desk in the studio, cross-legged, talking to a friend of mine on the phone. And she was supposed to arrive at two, I think it was about 1.30. And so then I get this tap on the shoulder and I turn around, it's all this nose to nose and it was Diana. She said, hello, I'm, I'm Princess Diana. And I, and I dropped the phone onto the table, onto the floor. I jumped up, I said, I'm really sorry, I thought you were going to arrive. arrive. She said, I'm so sorry, it's up, I'm early, I'm early, I'm really, don't worry, I'm going to carry on with your phone call, I'll, I'll get my makeup done. And, you, know, uh, you know, just relax, sorry, I you know, made you jump, which is what she did. So she goes into the room, I think, and I pick up the phone and I said, um, and the friend said, what happened there? I said, I dropped the phone and it bounced on the table. And then I said, why would you do that? I said, well, Princess Diana just chucked me on the shoulder and he said, yeah, sure she did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. believe that, you believe I think Pinocchio. I've been doing it for 25, 30 years now, so um, it's uh, it's kind of routine, so it's not a, a big deal. I was nervous in the beginning, obviously, mm -hmm. the first time I ever photographed the Queen, but um, now, you know, it's, um, it's not a big deal. I'm not so nervous, I'm not shaking or anything. <laughs> I don't know really. Um, you always get asked. I always get mm. asked that question, and you don't know. The thing is actually keeping them talking, keeping them chatting, and mm. keeping them interested, and uh, um, that's um, that's about it really. If they've got character, I can get it. Mm. But if they haven't got character, I don't. <laughs> Simple as that. You know, it, it'll come across if, if they've got character. It's not something that you bring out. Of them. Mm. You know, they, 